Good morning, everyone. Today is August the 14th, 2024, and this is your thought for today. Let's begin with a word of prayer. Father, as always, we thank you for bringing us together once again. Bless us now as we look to your word for the instruction that we need to help us as we face this Wednesday, this hump day. For us in Jesus' name, we do pray. Amen. I want to say good morning to everybody. It is good to be back. I missed you all during my two weeks away. I feel refreshed, had a wonderful vacation, really enjoyed um, Gillette, Wyoming, even though it was raining and um, there was a lot of things that took place there. But overall, I enjoyed myself. Today, I am going to share something with you that I think that is very important. Uh, Before I share the title, I just want to say we need to learn how to give thanks and show appreciation to individuals who we see on a daily basis Um, because when they're gone, meaning when they pass away, we can't say how much we appreciate them when they're gone. And I find that Uh, people tend to say how much they appreciate somebody when they're no longer here to hear it. So this morning, I want to talk to us. I want to share the title for uh, this thought for today is Now is the Time. Now is the Time. I want to start off saying how much I appreciate these individuals. And there may be some on here that I don't have. I don't want you to be uh, or feel some kind of way. I just want you to know I uh, appreciate you as well. These are the families and the individuals that came to my head that I want to say thank you for everything that you have done uh, for me, how you've influenced me in some way or another. And then we're going to go to our text for today. And then we're going, I'm going to share a quote with you. But the title once again is called, Now is the Time. I want to start off by saying thank you to my mother and my father, my sister and my brother, my aunts and my uncles, the Robinson family, and you know every single one, um, Kenny Robinson, Wayne Robinson, Carolyn Robinson, Ruby Robinson the Robinson family, the Thomas family, uh, Karen Thomas and Wesley Thomas and Gordon Thomas and Harold Thomas and his wife and all of his children, the Thomas family, the Gay family, Ernest Gay and Gladys Gay and everyone in that family. The Winston family, Jay Winston and Crystal Wilson and Jared Wilson and Jeremy Wilson and Jared Wilson, uh, uh, Winston, the Winston family, the Brown family, Mm -hmm. Carolyn Brown. And and, and I just called him Brother Brown because I I rarely called him by his first name, but I think it was Willie Brown. Uh, uh, All the Browns. The Conwell family, Dan Conwell, Michelle Conwell, Everett Conwell, the Hill family, Gina Hill and Michael Hill and all the members of the Hill family, the the Polite family, Eddie Polite and and, 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 and Michael Polite and, and Kimberly Polite and, and Sister Polite, who, who was my prayer partner. 
the Anderson family. And there are two sets of Andersons that I know. The Andersons where I attend church right now and and, and, and uh, uh, um, Daryl Anderson and Brian Anderson and Sister Anderson and Jeremy Anderson and all the Andersons. The Morant family. Lenny Moran and Mon Moran and Mariah Moran and, and, and Joseph Moran, all the Morant family, my boy Monroe and his wife, the Allen family, and I know a whole lot of Allens, but Brian Anderson, uh, uh, not excuse me, but Brian Allen and, and, and Sister Allen, the Peters family. Marsha Peters and Derek Peters, Jr., as well as Sr., the Kelly family, um, Una Kelly and Bernard Kelly and, and the Kellys that I know, the Price family, um, 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 uh, Brenda Price and, 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 Brother Price, I call I just call him Brother Price. The Curry family. The Rainey family. Uh, Yvonne Rainey, Vet Rainey, Sister Rainey, Donnie Rainey, Daddy Rainey, the Page family. I know a lot of pages. Sister Page and Brother Page and LT, Anthony, TJ, Antonio, Keisha, the Williams family. There are so many people that I want to say thank you to. Now is the time. What do you mean? Now is the time to give thanks. Now is the time to show appreciation for individuals who have helped you in your journey called life. Now is the time because there's no guarantee of tomorrow. Ecclesiastes chapter 3 verses 1 through 8 says some very powerful words for us. Think about it. Meditate on it as you go throughout this day. It says this, for everything there is a season, a time for every activity under heaven. A time to be born and a time to die. A time to plant and a time to harvest. A time to kill and a time to heal. A time to tear down and a time to build up. A time to cry and a time to laugh. A time to grieve and a time to dance. A time to scatter stones and a time to gather stones. A time to embrace and a time to turn away. A time to search and a time to quit searching. A time to keep and a time to throw away. A time to tear or, or tear and a time to mend. A time to be quiet and a time to speak. A time to love and a time to hate. A time for war and a time for peace. I, I, I want to focus on this first verse. You can go back through the text if you want to. <coughs> Excuse me. In your own time. But I want to. Uh, uh, share this first verse with you, and then I want to share something that that, that, that the pastor mentioned during uh, my time at Gillette, Wyoming, and I want to give a shout out to Pastor Damian Chandler. Very powerful messages that he shared uh, nightly while at Campery. Uh, this first verse that I want to mention again is 
Ecclesiastes chapter 3 and verse number 1. It says, for everything there is a season. Mm -hmm. A time for every activity under heaven. There was a story that Pastor Chandler had mentioned in his opening of his message one night. And, and, and he was saying how he really doesn't care uh, so much to be in an airplane. And he began to describe how he was sitting in this uncomfortable seat and the, the, the stewardess or the person who comes to see you when you're on a plane came and asked him, how is everything going? And, and he uh, said, everything is going all right. But then something happened that surprised him. This guy, this person that came up to him said, come follow me. And he took him to first class. He began to describe how first class is a whole lot different from the regular seating. You have more space and they bring you certain things. And so he began to share how this, uh, 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 the flight attendant had asked him, do you need anything? And he began to say, yeah, well, yeah, sure. Uh, are you thirsty? He got something to drink. Uh, he said, are you hungry? He got something to eat. He got a fruit thing. Uh, he said, are you are you okay? Do you need anything else? And he says, sure. Then he got a meal. But then he began to say how the ones who were left behind was feeling some kind of way. And there was a phrase that he said that has stuck with me. But not only stuck with me, but also reignited the fire inside of me when he said that he didn't belong in that position. But he said the steward put him there. He said the steward put me here. I'm saying to you, my brothers and sisters, you may think that you're in the wrong position right now in your life. But I'm here to tell you, just like Pastor Damien said, it, you are where you are right now at this particular moment in your life because the steward, which is God himself, put you there for a specific purpose because he sees everything. He knows what his children need before they ask him. Yes, you may think that you're at that job and it's not the best job, but there's somebody there that God wants you to connect with to form a relationship that is going to last from here to eternity. I know what I'm talking about because when I stepped foot at Oakwood College in 2001, as a matter of fact, it was the spring of 2001, I met a man, a gentleman, two gentlemen, one of them were really close from California and everywhere I've been, and I've mentioned to him before, I've mentioned him to you before, we are still tight to this day. He's from California. I'm from Kansas City. His name is Alex Williams. You never know who you're going to encounter. But God knows who you're going to encounter. So he puts us in positions where we think it's not important, but it truly is because someone needs to be encouraged. Someone needs to be reminded that everything is going to be okay. So we talked about that job that you're at. Maybe it's a college that you're at. Maybe it's a high school that you're at. Maybe it's a particular church that you're at. Uh, that, the, the church that you attend may, may, may not be your cup of tea, but how many of you all know that when you go to a church building, it's not about you. It's about the one that should be emphasized in that church building which is Jesus Christ. And Jesus Christ, when he's 
elevated and lifted up like he should be, you will find individuals there who are searching just like you for the truth. Jesus put it this way, and ye shall know the truth and the truth shall set you free. So today, I want each and every one of you to give thanks for those individuals who have made an influence in your life, who have encouraged you, who have poured into you, who have shaped you and molded you into the person that you are today. Rather, it was a positive experience or a negative experience because we can take those negative experiences and that teaches us just just like the positive experiences that we face. And I want you to be reminded that now is the time to give thanks for those individuals who have made a mark in your life, not when they're dead and gone. Some of the individuals that I mentioned to you, some of them are gone. But they still made an impact on me. And I didn't even mention Tracy Townsend and Ken Houston and Lori Everett and uh, uh, um, Larry King. I'm talking about some anchors from Kansas City. Uh, 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 uh. All these individuals made an impact on me. Miss Telefero, Miss Richmond, Miss Lawson. Some of these were my teachers. Some of Mr. White. Some of the, Mr. White was my principal when I was in school. These individuals left a lasting impression on me. I want to read something to you in closing. It's a quote. It says, life teaches us to make good use of time. While time teaches us the value of life. Life teaches us to make good use of time. While time teaches us the value of life. So take the time to show appreciation to those individuals who have impacted your life. God bless you, everybody. Father, thank you for this opportunity that you've given me to share with my family. Bless everyone now that they will understand that now is the time for them to give thanks for everything good or bad that has taken place in their life and let them know that you have a purpose for them. Bless them as they face this day. Give them strength on this hump day. And we will be sure to give you all the praise, the honor, and the glory for us. In Jesus' name we do pray. Amen. Thank you, everyone, and I will see you next time.